Hello students, welcome to my channel. This is Sunil Naik. In this video, we are going to learn about the analogy. So first, let us understand that what is analogy. Analogy refers to correspondence or similarity. Okay, there should be there should be a correspondence or there should be similarity. For that, we will call as a analogy. Okay, and it is defined as a similarity or a process of reasoning from the parallel cases. We have to observe the case, cases, parallel cases, and we have to answer. Okay. In this thing, uh, one thing we have to remember this, this in this analogy, the analogy that uh, problem figures they are based on the shapes and designs. Means different designs are there, and uh, different uh, images are there. All things we have to remember and uh, we have to solve that. Okay, students. So uh, first, uh, let us understand how to solve that. Figures, okay, students. Uh, first thing we have to remember that uh, based on the size, they will uh, give questions, and based on the form, and based on the uh, designs, and uh, based on the rotations. These things we have to keep in that mind. So I will show you here one question. So it is based on the size. First question you, you can see here. This is uh, the question is based on the size. So here. This is the problem figure. Like this, they will give first. They will give three figures, and uh, first and second is related, and uh, third and fourth are related. But third, they will give fourth. Uh, we have to find out. Okay, in this four, see here, uh, four options are there. In this four, we have to select one. So here, in first figure, you can see that one triangle is there and one circle is there. In that one. It is based on the size I told you. See here, the size of the triangle and size of the circle. The size of the triangle is here big, and size of the circle is small. Okay. When you come to the next sum, next figure, it is vice versa. Means reverse. The size of the triangle in first figure it is big, but in second figure, the size of the triangle is small. But the size of the uh, circle is small in the first figure. That same is big in the second figure. So uh, third figure is triangle is there big size, and upside uh, we can see it uh, square is there. So what should be the next? Here next should be that triangle should be there down only, but that triangle should be small, and that square should be. Big means so. What is the answer? Second one is the answer. You can see here triangle is small and square is big. These uh, this type questions it is based on the size. Okay, and now I will uh, one more example. I will show you. It is based on the form. So let's see uh, the next example. Here in this figure you can see here. Uh, first figure is there. One circle is there. In that circle, uh, uh, small uh, three lines upside and down. Uh, three lines are there. So second figure upside three lines. One, two, three, and gap is there. And down three lines are there. Means uh, three plus three, six lines. Means here one figure is there. It is uh, it having six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now first and second is related. Now it comes to the third one. So how many sides are there? One, two, three. Okay, three lines are there. So what should be here? Means the figure should be having the three sides. Three side figure should be there. Means a triangle. So in this, uh, where is three sides? One, two, three. First one is there. So first one is the answer. Three sides here. Uh, actually, you can't see here. Three lines upside and three lines downside is there. So it is the six sides. Here only one, two, three. So three sides. First one is the answer. Okay, students. Now let's uh, go for next one more example. Okay, students, uh, next one uh, it is based on the sides only. So problem figures you can see here. How many sides are there in first figure? One, two, three sides. So second figure four sides. You can see here. Now in third figure the sides how many sides are there four sides are there then what should be next here it should be five sides so five sided figure where is there we have to search 
it is 3 it is 6 so it is 1 2 3 4 5 five side is there so what is the answer third one is the answer it friends now let's uh, see one more example that is based on the rotation okay this type also they will ask uh, ask questions in the exams so you can see here problem figures so uh, the letter a used here in all the figures but we have to see this the rotation means how it is rotated that we have to observe so how much angle it is rotated here uh, we have to count the angles also so here uh, students you can see here observe here a is there so it is rotated uh, in anti-clockwise so uh, already you know that uh, what is the meaning of clockwise and anti-clockwise anti-clockwise mode share it is moving in this direction means anti-clockwise okay if it will move this direction it is clockwise so it is moving this direction share so if it moves continuously means it becomes 90 degree so here it is 45 it's 90 in between it moved means 45 plus uh, uh, 20 means it's nearly 65 degree it's it moved okay again uh, same again it's rotated means it is again anti-clockwise only it is moving so what should be the next so it should move to the this direction means the third one is the answer like this uh, we have to decide students okay students i hope you have understood this one regarding analogy okay in next video uh, i will bring up with the next concept thank you